Welcome back. My name is Grayson. I'm rolling with Lamaste Studio today and we're really excited to offer you all of these videos for content. The first one I'm going to be doing today is going to be a happy flow. Um, I like to put different moods and different inspirations of vibe to each flow. Um, so this is going to be a short like 20 minute flow and it is going to be in the uh, mood of making us happy. So just having fun, silly movement, getting our body nice and awake for the day. This is a great one to do in the morning if you're feeling like a little groggy or maybe something to do in the middle of the day. I know I get a slump around like 3, 4 p.m. and I just need to move my body and wake myself up. So that is the goal of this little practice. So without further ado, let's meet in our child's pose. So taking our knees nice and wide, tucking the toes underneath so you've got a nice pointed foot here, and then bringing your tailbone toward your heels. Once you do that, you're just gonna reach your hands forward and melt yourself down. And take a few solid breaths here. Connect into that ujjayi breath, creating an ocean wave as you bring the tip of the tongue to the back of your upper teeth. Breathing in through your nose, letting the air come down your rib cage, into your chest, your belly. And then exhale, send all that air out. And just letting each breath meditate on the simple thought of happiness. Bringing joy in on the inhale and exhaling joy, joy out on the exhale. Really nice. And let's start moving. Bringing your fingertips to the mat, raising the palms of the hands so your hands are nice and active here. And then just inhale, bringing your gaze up toward the thumb. So we're creating an active child's pose. Next, exhale, you're going to start to crawl your hands over to the right side of the mat, landing one hand to the outside of the mat, and then the left hand goes right on top, bringing the gaze underneath your armpit. So nice, really sending that left hip down and out, so you can inhale, find length, and exhale, bring that gaze even deeper, and get to the stretch. Nice. Next, inhale, gaze back, those fingertips, we're going to come back onto the fingertips as we crawl ourselves over to the other side. Take it nice and easy, placing your left hand down first, then the right hand goes on top, sinking that right hip back and down, so you're really opening up the side body as you gaze into that right elbow, right armpit. Inhale, find length. Exhale, get a little deeper. Really feeling each rib expanding, creating space in the body. So nice. Next, exhale, melting your head back up as we crawl ourselves back to center. And then using the hands to crawl yourselves closer to your knees. So we're going to come into a kneeling position. Walk your knees in so they're right in front of your hips if they were splayed out a little. And then bring your hands to your thighs, rolling your shoulders back into your neck into the back, away from the ears. Beautiful. Maybe even soften your eyes here. Take a full round of breath. <sighs> Let it out the mouth, side out. We're getting rid of any negative emotions, any toxins. One more round. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Let it all go. Beautiful. Opening those eyes back up. Let's get ready to flow. Inhale, we're going to take our hands all the way up to the ceiling, interlacing the fingers, and then pushing the palms into the ceiling. Beautiful. Gaze is up toward the palms. The chest should already be slightly forward, but see if you can find a back bend here, pushing the chest forward, and then bring your arms up and back. So nice. Beautiful. Exhale, round the hands forward, let the gaze follow, and send the spine, middle of the spine, behind you. Beautiful. So kind of like a seated cat cow, we're going to keep doing that. We're going to inhale, send your chest forward, send your arms all the way up and back. Exhale, round yourself down. Inhale, send those arms up. Exhale, round them down. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, 
exhale, round it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, ha, let it all go, coming back to child pose, letting your hands float down to the ground, releasing all of that pent up energy, whew, nice. So your hands will be reaching forward, you're in this child's pose. We're gonna start to bring your gaze back up toward the palms. Keep them flat on the ground this time and make sure they're about shoulder width apart. Once you get there, you're gonna to start to slither your body forward. And what I mean by that is pulling the elbows back as you bring your chest forward. And then see if you can plant your chest right in between your fingers. So nice. Once you get there, you're gonna push your chest forward as you bring your belly in between your fingers, finding your first cobra pose. Beautiful. Exhale, see if you can push your tailbone back, finding that child pose again. We're gonna flow in and out of that motion. So we inhale, gaze up, we slither forward, bring the elbows behind us, planting our chest down. So nice. Then we slither even more forward, bring the belly down, as we bring the chest up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring the tailbone behind us. Inhale, slithering forward. Maybe you don't even drop your chest all the way down, you just support with your hands as you bring your chest all the way up and back. And then exhale, child's pose. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child pose. Take a full round of breath, let that go. Such nice work we've done already. Next inhale, let's take our hands right behind our back and interlace those fingers once again. Just pull your hands together and away from the chest. So you're just opening the front of that chest a little bit. So nice. Then releasing those hands down and then exhale right next to your face. And crawl ourselves back up to that kneeling position. Maybe the knees need to come slightly back in. Beautiful. Take those hands all the way out and up once again, interlacing the fingers, pressing them toward the sky. Now instead of taking that shape front and back, this time I'm going to face you. We're going to take it side to side. So we inhale, find nice length here, and then we exhale, lean toward the right, opening the left side body. Beautiful. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The last one, inhale, release the hands. And then exhale, bring them in front of you. We're starting to find our first tabletop shape. Beautiful. Now once we get here, we're gonna drop the belly, bring the gaze up for a cow. And exhale, round the spine, bring the gaze up toward the navel. Beautiful, three more times, flowing through, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Next inhale, find a nice neutral spine so everything's engaged, and then send your legs out one at a time to find your first plank pose. Beautiful, really pushing the heels back into the back of the room. Beautiful, engaging the core. So nice, and once you're ready, we're gonna peel those hips up and back, finding our first down dog. Now, if the first one do down dog is a practice, like I said, we're not gonna do a huge practice today. So let's really take our second to engage this pose. We're gonna inhale, bring our weight all the way up onto our tippy toes and send our booty up and back if we're sitting on the ceiling. That way we get a nice long spine, making sure that the shoulders are away from the ears, making sure we're pressing into every finger as well as our wrists for supporting ourselves. Beautiful. Now once you get there, find a slight bend in the knees and start to drop the heels. They might not come down to the ground, but that's totally fine. It's more about finding the length in the legs and the length in the back. 
Beautiful. Pick up a line of breath. Exhale out the mouth. <sighs> Let it all go. So nice. Let's inhale. Send our right foot all the way up and back behind us for three-legged dog. And then exhale. Pull that foot all the way through the thumb space, planting it down for low lunge. Checking in with those hips again, making sure that they're nice and even. Making sure that that left heel is really kicking like into the back of the mat behind you. Beautiful. Let's drop the knee down, untuck the toes. And we're going to inhale, peel our upper body nice and high, reaching our hands up for Anjaneyasana. Beautiful. Exhale, see if you can send your hips even more forward and down. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. And then exhale as you can even find a little mini back bend here. Beautiful. Next inhale, gently start to bring your hands to heart center, keeping the legs where they are. We're going to find a gentle twist in this pose. So I'm going to bring my left elbow all the way over the right knee, pressing my hands into each other so I start to pivot my chest to face that right elbow. So nice. Take a full round of breath. See if you can sink your hips down as you open your chest more with every exhale. So nice. Next exhale, begin to release that pose. We're coming back with our hands on either side of the foot. We're gonna to start to find a half split, but we're not gonna just sit in our half split. We're gonna flow through it. As you notice, this is a very, very flowy practice. So we're gonna send our hips behind us and then send our right toes up to the ceiling as we bow down. And then next inhale, pull your hips forward, weight comes back into that right foot. Beautiful. So we're just going to flow through on our breath. So exhale, pull those hips back. Inhale, pull your weight forward into that low lunge. Exhale, pull the hips back. Inhale, pull it forward. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, pull it forward. So nice. Now just take a second to shake your hips side to side, making sure that the motion is always circular, not just linear. Maybe you need to roll through a little bit. Very nice. And then I want you to tuck your toes so you start to float that back knee up. Nice. So we're back in that low lunge. And then crawl your hands a little bit forward so your hands and your right foot kind of make a triangle. Now once you're there, I want you to kick off the right foot, left foot, excuse me. <laughs> I want you to kick off the left foot and float it behind you for supported warrior three. This is where we get into that happy flow. So really, instead of focusing on, oh, this is hard, this is hard, focus on, this is so fun. I'm playing around like a kid. Maybe I take one hand out, maybe another hand. Maybe I try and take both behind me. Maybe I drop them both down and bend both knees, get nice and deep into a fold here. I want you to play. What does it feel like to be on their one leg today? Maybe you'd like to start to stack your hips and open them for a half moon. Maybe you want to try a revolved half moon, which is keeping your left hand down and reaching the right hand up. Three more rounds of breath in this posture. If you want to just stay in your supportive warrior three, that is totally fine. It's about exploring and feeling good in your own body. So last round of breath. Do whatever you want to do, anything funky, even anything silly, maybe even try to grab your top foot. And then when you're ready, very gently floating that left foot next to the right foot. So we're at a half lift top of mat. Inhale, find a long straight spine, maybe bring your hands to the shins, gaze forward. And then exhale, really bend the knees, melting your belly to your thighs for forward fold. Shake your head no, shake it yes. So nice. Let's roll up one vertebrae at a time. Take it nice and slow. Whew. Once you get to a standing position, bring your shoulders all the way up toward your ears and then down into your back. Bring those hips forward, palms face forward as well. Just noticing what it feels like to stand. It's probably already a lot different. Beautiful. We're going to need to even out those sides though. So last side, last flow. We're going to inhale, bring our hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, plant the hands, send the feet behind you, find your plank pose. Beautiful. Exhale, chaturanga. Feel free to drop the knees down if you need. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward. So nice, guys. Pedal it out. Take a full breath. Let it all go. Very nice. Let's float that left leg all the way up high for three-legged dog. And then exhale, pull that leg all the way through the thumb space, landing it in that low lunge. Gorgeous. Really pushing out that right heel so it's kicking into the back of the room. So nice. We're going to drop the knee down and untuck the toes. Beautiful. Setting up for our Anjani Asana. Float your hips down and forward as we float our hands high. Exhale, get a little deeper. So nice, guys. Here for about three more breaths. So just checking in. See if you can make more room in each vertebrae. If you reach up, 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 up. Maybe even a little bit of a back bend. Making sure that those hips are still going down and forward. Nice. Next inhale, bringing the hands to heart center. We're going to go for that twist. So you're going to start to bring this right elbow on the outside of the left knee, making sure that those hips are still sinking down, pushing both hands into each other in that prayer pose, gazing up at that left elbow. Beautiful. I'm going to flip this around. You stay where you are. I'm just going to flip it so you guys can see me. So nice. Really pressing into those hands, bring the chest more open as we sink those hips down a little further. Last round of breath. Exhale, melt those hands down so they're framing that front foot. We're going to start to play with half split here. So everything's nice and squared off. We're sending our hips behind us on an exhale, sending our toes up to the sky. But like I said, this is going to be a flowy pose. So we're starting here, then we inhale, bring the weight back up into that low lunge. Exhale, send the hips back, toes go up to the ceiling. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. And exhale, back. So nice, guys. Let's inhale. Bring it back up forward and maybe take a couple of circles with your hips here. It might feel a little weird. It might feel a little wonky. But we're just making sure that all of our movement isn't just linear. Yeah? Perfect. So squaring everything up, getting ready for the transition, planting both hands nice and strong, tucking the toes behind you, floating the right knee back up. So nice. Here's that one-legged flow. So we're just shifting our weight into that left foot, bringing your hands a little bit higher so you're in a triangle with your left foot, and then kicking that right foot off. So I really felt like opening and expanding, so I went right into half moon, just raising my right hand up to the ceiling. Maybe you want to keep both hands down. Maybe you want to bend the knees and find kundalini in a forward fold. Maybe you want to open it up. Maybe you want to just float the hands out and be an airplane. Woohoo! Whatever feels good to you today. This specific area is all about the play. It's all about what can you discover that you can do. You don't need to know the name of a pose to do it. And practice makes perfect, right? And guess what? There's actually no such thing as perfect. But practice gets us closer to what we want. So you have to start somewhere. Three more breaths floating around in this supported warrior three, slash half moon, slash whatever you want it to be. And when you're ready, gently bringing the right foot right next to the left foot. Inhale, find a half lift. 
exhale, forward fold, really bending the knees, melting your belly to your thighs. Shake your head, no, shake it, yes. Let it all go. Beautiful. And then rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Oh, bringing your shoulders up towards your ears and rolling them down, bringing your palms forward. And that's the end of our practice today. So if this is your full practice for the day and you'd like to go into a Shavasana, I'm gonna leave that right now. If you just needed to move and groove in the middle of your day, you're done. How do you feel? Take a breath. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you would like to do a Shavasana, feel free to come down and just drop your booty onto your mat. Very nice. Taking both legs out nice and long. Bring your hands right behind your hips and just walking yourself down to your elbows and then down to your shoulders. Pulling those shoulders into your back. Finding a nice long neck and gently softening your eyes. Slowing down your breath. Coming back to that simple meditation of happiness. Sending in joy in the inhale. And exhaling out joy. Maybe even bringing the corners of your mouth into a smile. Feel free to stay here as long as you like, enjoying your Shavasana with me. My name is Gracie Mills. I make Lama stay. Loved having you today. Namaste.